chances are it's actually actually because he's a little punk that they meant they mentioned some sort of thug and he's a thug can character so maybe he accidentally bumped into them and caused the frustration of the father actually you know, Tommy scampered through the back roads along the center gate white sneakers and pumps slapping on the pavement and she kept his eyes peeled continually checking ahead and beyond darting through the gaps between the buildings Oh, yeah, someone in our There's no way you'll find us here. I said, no one knows about this place. Another way I land there, I with you. Seems they like managed to shake the gun for now. I remember she was with SOS. He had come through Center Guy practically every day. The abbreviation for Studs of Shibuya. <laughs> Studs of Shibuya. Uh huh. Name given to the group for. By Achi when he founded it. Originally just a bunch of like minded young people hanging out together, it was it has since become known as a gang that picks fights around Shibuya. The ASI is a little more than a group of local teens. They didn't do much in particular, just horsing around and killing time. What mattered was that they were having fun. It wasn't long before it wasn't all fun and games. And she couldn't help but notice the slobs who were making a mess of Shibuya, dirtying it all up. It wasn't bad to let them get away with it. Most frequently it was folks who tossed cigarette butts out on the street that held plastic graffiti in, in the wall. The walls. When they didn't respond to his more gentle warnings, he found slightly more forced ways of getting his point across. As soon as got a reputation, the street punks started trying to pick fights with its members. These guys required a bit more force to handle. And when it came to the worst of the lot, the drug dealers, the muggers, and people who tried to force themselves on women, it was full on battle, no horse bars. Yeah. Well, I suppose the series now was something of a vigilante corpse. Soon it became known as one of the biggest gangs in Shibuya. Let's have a little bit here and see what happens, as she says. The only way they hid was likely a dimly lit chasm, obscuring them from view. The only problem now was figuring out what to do next. We needed to find that blue van again. We should be figuring out the best way to get to Dogen Zaka without, without the man with the cane catching them once more. Actually, it's only whispered. Hmm? I think I can handle myself from here. She got back to her feet and gave actually a deep bow. Oh, she held up her hand. We've been over this already. You're not going to be okay. He, the guy, that guy has a gun. If you let it go against that assassin alone, he might as well be the one who pulled the trigger himself. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me, to continue as if, as if she hadn't heard him. She started to shuffle out of the alley. Nick, what did I just say? I appreciate your concern, but I can't in good conscience put you in danger anymore. But, I mean, I should try to press the point, but I don't want cut him off. There's no good reason for you to risk yourself to keep helping me. Turn was as though... <laughs> no, he, he's going to refuse to back down. Still, as he was determined to help her anyway, he refused to back down. Look, I want to help people who are in trouble. What's so wrong about that? Huh? Looks as the attorney willing her to understand. I'm not the most dependable guy, I know that. But still I just Tommy dropped her gaze and then she trailed off, feeling like an idiot. Oh, it's no use. I'm no use. He hung his head at a sigh. Just then a bit of light showing in the alleyway from above. Looked like someone on the edge of the building up a floor. It turned like someone. Oh! Tama. Oh, okay. Building's up a floor and turned the light on. There was a. Uh, uh, there was been held on the other floor today. The light illuminated the room's face. When actually saw a look in her eyes, 
He reconsidered his decision. She was trying her hardest to hide it, but she was clearly terrified. No way she was letting he was letting her back go back out there alone. Still, even if he tried to insist, she would only refuse him again. You told me? Hear me for a second here. Tell me what's the proper way to dispose of that bowl. She stared at him in surprise. Uh, well, you first you remove the cap of around the wrapper, then you rinse out the inside and crush it. Actually, that would have been holding. Okay, good. Huh? I, I don't understand. What's good? You gave me my reason why I kept to help you out. The super respect... <laughs> I super respect people who respect the environment. I'm one of those whatchamacallits, an environmentalist. Are you pointing to the mean, clean t-shirt? To me, as the end, what was your plan if I had said the answer was to toss the plastic in the trash? Well, then I need to stick with you to help teach you. To help teach you. Environmental awareness begins with good education. True. So then you were going to tag along with me regardless. Well, I'm just super pumped to learn that you care so much about proper recycling. <laughs> you cracked a huge grin. He's a weirdo. <laughs> Okay then, okay. If you're really that sure about it, I guess I could use your help a little bar longer. Tell you a flash a little smile. Man, she's so cute, Attachy thought. Attachy? No, it's Ashy. Achy? Itchy? Scratchy. Anyway. Seeing off in the alleyway, uh, Ali, Achy, and Itomi began to make their way along the side of the streets back toward Dogenzaka. It was pretty big detour compared to the main thoroughfare, but that would be worth it if it meant they avoided the man of the king. She looked over to me and she walked alongside him. Her face was solemn. He could feel the intensity of her worry and her, of her sister. Oh, well, well, well. Look who's got himself a little cutie! A sudden call startled him. He spun around. Yo, mean clean! Over here! And she spotted a young man up ahead sneering at him. Oh god. And so I have two others. And she recognized a lot. SOS. It told me to let out a nervous squeak. Actually, Don't worry about them. You let her onward. Onward attempting to stride right past the trio. Whoa, well, hey now! You just gonna ignore me? That's pretty damn rude, especially when coming from someone who used to be an old buddy. The three toughs moved to bar Ashley's path. Oh, she is hella fine. Come on, ain't you gonna introduce us? <laughs> Extremely attractive. The etymology of hella is somewhat unclear, but it mean, uh, mean is undisputed, very, a lot, totally, and the like. Potential uh, synonyms for hella fine include mighty fine, fine as hell, and bangin'. But <laughs> well, now you know. Sorry, man, she said, I'm in a bit of a hurry here. He gave them a tepid smile. A big hurry, huh? Where to? Some love hotel in Murray Mitchell? Too rich, another chimed. She is scream at she. Ah, 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 she. Take a stereotypical way to poke fun at a would-be amorous couple. Now take Ashley's name. There you go! Pretty much. Burst out howling like a gang of monkeys. One of them cackling and grinning in it. Ashley. Ashley throws his anger boil. Uh, they were in sort of ass kicking, but there was too much at stake. He was going to have to suck it up and ignore them for the time being. Yeah, exactly. He seemed to try to slip past them, but the largest of the three grabbed him by the collar. You ran up, man. Sumo's the one who runs this town now. You've got no right to keep acting like you're the boss of us. He shot actually against the wall. Says who actually? Sumo? Say what now? Does the Sumo say I've got no right to act like the boss? Bitch, please! The sumo ain't got no time to worry about your sorry ass. Ah, is that so? BAM! 
I just was flashed out, catching them back and clean the jaw. He dropped to the ground like a dull thud. Dull thud. So tell us some of this. Everyone in Shibuya needs to just play nice and have fun. <laughs> As you kept his tone light and jovial, but he eyed the other two just like a hawk eyeing its prey. Is is he going to be all right? Hitori murmured. She you know looked at the man that she had laid out with some concern. Ah, he'll be fine. If that's all it took to knock him out, he's got no right to act all badass. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Actually, I don't believe I had the pleasure. What the hell? Tall man with the angry gleam in his eye. I said appeared atop the steps nearby. He must have turned up during the commotion. He radiated a distinct aura of menace. I don't know, that first bit of the trumpet sounded like he was here to have... He was here to be his butt boy. <laughs> That's me, that she replied. And just who are you? Once it was someone he didn't recognize. The name's Yuji Kiryu. He was with the gang of Kimura until a few months ago. Known as the Killer Whale of Bakuru, he answered any and all resistance with his fists. His crazy antics led him to being kicked out of the gang, however, and lately he's been hanging around Shibuya. Okay. I joined up with SOS after you left. Now I'm Susumo's number two guy. The newcomer start stared at Achi's face, sizing him up. Our legendary founder, I've heard so much about you. The founder. It's been a long time since anyone recorded that. There's been a bunch arguing over who would take charge of the new group that was forming to set things straight in Shibuya. At some point, folks had started, uh, folks had started hailing him as the force behind SOS. But Founder, that was just something his buddies called him. He had never paid it much heed. <coughs> Shibuya was a place for him, not hierarchs. No, a place for fun, not hierarchies. At least, in Archie's mind. That was how it would be. Like how you busted up some mean old drug dealers, rescued your pals from the abuse of bondage. Uh, here, bondage is used strictly in the sense of captivity. Any other types of Yakuza bondage would not be featured in this game. <laughs> Sorry if the tip link here got your hopes up. <laughs> You're a real hero. His tongue flicked from his mouth like a snake's. Tommy shuddered that she couldn't blame her for being creeped out. That's all in the past now, isn't it? You, can do. you went modestly on your way. On your way. It's up to us now. And we've helped SOS grow by leaps and bounds to help carry on your legend legacy. No matter who stands in our way. I thought I hadn't sit right with that chick. If aggressive expansion was the name of the game, the gang was losing touch with its roots. It wasn't about keeping Shibuya safe and fun anymore. Make SOS bigger, huh? He said. I'm guessing that was Sumo's call as well? Who had different spot to answer this question. It's not merely twisted it into a knowing sneer. In any event, I think these boys here need a little lesson in manners. The guillotine ought to do the trick. Carol punishment device in 18th century France. The condemned is executed by decapitation by means of a heavy blade that descends from above. Named for physician Joseph Illigan's guillotine, who advocated its use in the, to the National Assembly. Both King Louis the 16th and Marie Antoinette were executed by the guillotine. The game rang silent alarm. Whoa, hey, calm, calm down, man. He's leaving to the guillotine! He apparently ignored their pleas. Oh, hey, what's the guillotine? Ashley asked. He was smirked. The guillotine. It's the guillotine. With me, Worms, without a glance back, he strolled away. His two underlings followed him unhappily. Ashley wondered what lay in store for them, but right now he had more important things to worry about. Come on, let's go. You're turning over a hand, they were on their way out. 